Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. How are you doing today? I hope you feel blessed. Some of the more observant among you may have noticed a few changes with the show. But when I started out a couple of weeks ago, I had no idea if I would be able to create the show on a daily basis. Now that I have a few shows, I feel more confident about delivering you the Word of God that I felt it was best to improve the look and feel of the show in order to bring our Father the glory he deserves. If you want to be a guest read on the show, all you have to do is send me a message to your email address that should appear on the screen. Please notice that it's a new one, and I'll send you further details of how you can do that. I promise you that you will get proper credit in the description box for that chapter of the Bible. In fact, you can use the same address if you wish to discuss anything that I mention in the show. Now seriously friends, I know you've been watching the shows, but it's important to click the like and subscribe buttons below. It helps to encourage others to subscribe to the channel, so that they may also hear the word of the Lord. Not only that, it lets you know when there are new episodes available. And I'm also offering bonus subscriber only videos to those of you who subscribe here on YouTube. Now let's do things right and open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 13 Abraham went out of Egypt. He, his wife, all that he had and lot with him, into the south. Abram was very rich in livestock, in silver and in gold. He went on his journeys from the south, he went to Bethel, to the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and I, to the place of the altar, which he had made there at the first. There Abram called on Yahweh's name, but also who went with Abram, at the flocks, herds and tents. Land was not able to bear them, that they might live together, for their substance was great, so that they could not live together. There was strife between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and the herdsmen of Lot's livestock. The Canaanites and the Perizzites lived in the land at that time. Abram said to Lot, Please, let there be no strife between you and me, and between your herdsmen and my herdsmen. Who are your relatives? Isn't the whole land before you? Please, separate yourself from me. If you go to the left hand, and I will go to the right. If you go to the right hand, then I will go to the left. Lot lifted up his eyes, and saw all the plain of the Jordan. As it was well watered everywhere, before Yahweh destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Let the garden of Yahweh make the land of Egypt, to go to Zoar. So Lot chose the plain of the Jordan for himself. Lot travelled east, and they separated themselves, one from the other. Abram lived in the land of Canaan, and Lot lived in the cities of the plain, and moved his tent as far as Sodom. And the men of Sodom were exceedingly wicked, the sinners against Yahweh. Yahweh said to Abram, after Lot was separated from him, Now lift up your eyes, and look from the place where you are, northward and southward, and eastward and westward. All the land which you see, I will give to you and your offspring forever. I will make your offspring as much as the dust of the earth, so that if a man can count the dust of the earth, then your offspring may also be counted. Arise, walk through the land in its length and its width, for I will give it to you. Abram moved his tent, and came and lived by the oaks of Mamre, which are in Hebron, and built an altar there to Yahweh. 